What's up guys, my name is Harshal Mavani and in this video we take a look at custom exceptions in Java. So how exactly do you create your own custom exceptions, how are they thrown and how do you want your program to be when you're creating your own custom exceptions is what we're going to see in this video. As usual, all of this in 5 minutes. Let's get started guys. So this is the program that we will be using to understand custom exceptions. I have my exception which will be the custom exception class. You want to extend the exception class whenever you're creating your own custom exception. So in this case, my exception extends exception. This suggests that my exception is the class, which is the custom exception class. Now inside this, I have a constructor. The constructor takes a string. This string is to be passed up. So when recall the super keyword, the super keyword is nothing but calling your parent constructor in this case the parent constructor or you can call the previous method as well the overridden method as well the original version of the overridden method as well now i have my exception demo which will act as the main class in which i have my public static void main function i'm using the buffer reader to take inputs and outputs never use the scanner because buffer are they're quite faster and they keep your code readable so we have int age is equal to integer dot parse and br dot read line now if age is greater than 100 throw new my exception and pass the string that is invalid age is entered and you pass the age as well. You append the age and you pass it. Now by doing so, I have made sure that whenever the age that is entered, if it is greater than 100, I will throw new exception. Now try and debug this program. There is a small glitch. If my exception extends exception, this makes my exception a child of the exception class. And if it is a child of the exception class, it becomes by default checked in nature and hence this exception is now checked in nature and if it is checked and if we are throwing the exception without declaring the exception or using the try catch then this will result in the same error that we have seen before when we were studying the difference between the throws and the throw keyword let's try and compile this program so we have java c space my exception demo dot java and here's the error unreported exception my exception in the previous case it was io exception if you recall a few videos back it was io exception now this we have two options must be caught or declared to be thrown so if we want to catch it we have to surround this statement with the try catch block which doesn't make any sense the second option is that we declare this exception we can do so by using the comma and adding your class name that is your custom exception class name so in this case it is my exception so i'll just add that over here and after doing so let me try and compile it again. Also, let's run it. Now it's waiting for input. So I'll enter 101, which will trigger the exception condition. And we have exception in thread main, my exception, invalid age entered 101. So this string over here was passed to this particular constructor. And this constructor made use of the super keyword and passed it on to the parent constructor. Over here, the parent constructor is the exception class constructor. So that is how the call reached over there. The exception object was created and which was not handled as a result of which it was printed over here. So that's all for this video. Thank you so much. Keep watching.